Hello and welcome. Today I am in Washington, D.C., joined by Christine Lagarde, MD of the IMF. Uh, Christine, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, Europe. Uh, yesterday, and we're filming this in July 2017, uh, the World Economic Outlook was uh, published, the latest World Economic Outlook, and the UK was one of the economies whose uh, growth forecast was revised downwards. Now, obviously, the UK is also tasked with facing Brexit. Are the paths to negotiations and the lengths of the negotiations worse than you expected? And what is your outlook for the UK's economy? We have always said that uh, the sooner the parties can find an agreement and the more pre predictable the outcome of those negotiations uh, is, the better it is for business, the better it is for the economy. The Article 15 was notified back uh, in, in March. Uh, we are now way into 2017. Uh, negotiations have started and uh, we are not seeing yet areas where there is already um, some conclusion. We are pleased to see that apparently the parties are moving towards defining a transition period because we, everybody knows uh, that this agreement is very complex, that it's going to require a lot of focus in multiple areas uh, from the aerospace industry to the uh, pharmaceutical business to the finance sector, uh, not to mention the multiple trade agreements that the UK will have to consider. So to consider that a transition period is in the cards is actually probably a relief for some of the economic operators. But we still very much hope that the UK on the one hand and the European Union representatives on the other hand will find way to identify less uncertainty, more predictability, and will give the business and the economic operators uh, a, a, an horizon against which they can actually plan their investment. And another country uh, in Europe, which obviously the IMF has been involved in, uh, is Greece. And uh, just a few days ago, uh, the IMF announced an in-principle agreement of 1.6 billion euros, uh, pending that the European partners for Greece ensure debt sustainability and that the reform packages uh, are on track. Uh, ideally, what kind of debt relief would you like to see that would ensure uh, debt sustainability in IMF terms for Greece? You know, we have always uh, been available to help Greece. Uh, it's been a long saga already, and we have uh, continuously engaged with the country. The whole purpose of the exercise is to make sure that the economy turns around, that it regains access to market, and that it can restore uh, some solid and sustainable growth. We've always said that that program had to walk on two legs. One leg is reforms, which certainly the Greek authorities have been willing now to, Im to legislate and uh, of which they're considering implementation. And the other leg is that of debt sustainability, for which we believe that some debt restructuring is needed. Because the restructuring of the debt has not yet been agreed, uh, we have decided to use uh, an, an, an old a uh, procedure that is available in the arsenal of tools of the IMF, which is the approval in principle. By doing that, we're saying financial support is available. We recognize the efforts made by the country and the proposed policies, and we approve of them. But because the financing or the debt restructuring in the present case is not yet available, we reserve the release of the funds and the effectiveness of this approval to the time when the debt restructuring is actually completed. This negotiation has, has begun and efforts have been undertaken and there has been some degree of restructuring. We believe that more is needed and we will see in the coming weeks where that is taking the uh, European partners. And is uh, the choice to go and opt for this kind of agreement, is it also maybe um, a case of the IMF maybe learning from uh, the experience of 2009 when the Greek debt crisis was at its height? Were there any lessons learned at that uh, point in time or anything you would have done differently uh, in terms of dealing with that kind of crisis? Any program that we put in place requires that the debt be sustainable and uh, there are conditions for that. If, if the debt is so large 
uh, be it held by private investors or by public investors, then it has to be restructured. And that is certainly something that we are seriously uh, requesting in the case of Greece. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us, Christine.